And Matthew Arnold pointed out that if a text be translated literally, then false emphasis are created. I do not know whether he came across, perhaps rather it was too late, he came across Captain Burton's translation of the Arabian Nights. For Burton translates Kita Balflaila Walaila as Book of the Thousand Nights and a Night, instead of Book of the Thousand and One Nights. Now this translation is a literal one. It is true word by word to the Arabic, but yet it is false in the sense that the words Book of the Thousand Nights and a Night are common form in Arabic, while in English, they, while in English, we have a slight, a slight shock of surprise, and this, of course, has not been intended by the original. I spoke a few moments ago about the Arabian Nights, and I spoke of Burton's Arabian Nights, but when I really think about the Arabian Nights, I am thinking not of those many and ponderous and pedantic or rather stilted volumes, but of what I may call the true Arabian Nights, the Arabian Nights of Galan and perhaps of Edward William Lane. I have done most of my reading in English. Most books have come to me through the English language and I am duly grateful for that privilege. When I think of the Arabian Nights, the first feeling I have is a feeling of a vast freedom. And yet, at the same time, I know that the book, though vast and free, is limited to a few patterns. We have, for example, the number three. Very frequently. And we have no characters, or rather flat characters, except perhaps the silent barber. And then we have evil men and good men, rewards and punishments, and magic rings and talismans, and so on. And though we are apt to think of mere size as being somehow brutal, yet I think there are many books whose essence lies in their being lengthy. For example, in the case of the Arabian Nights, we must needs think that the book is a large one, that the story goes on. We may never come to the end of it. We may never have gone through all the thousand and one nights. But the fact that they are there somehow lends a wideness to the whole thing. We know that you can delve deeper, that you can roam on, and that the marvels, the magicians, the three beautiful sisters, and so on, will always be there awaiting us.